What is up, YouTube? All right, so here's the deal. Um, I've been collecting shoes for about six months now. I'll say that as far as collecting shoes and getting serious about shoes, I've only been serious about shoes for about six months. And in this process, I noticed that there's a lot of stuff that I'm learning. So um, there's definitely some shoes that I wear that I wear. There's some shoes that I don't wear. There's some reasons why I might wear them, why I might not wear them. I wanted to get into some of that stuff right off the bat and uh, some distinction that I noticed was what shoes am I wearing versus what shoes am I collecting and why am I doing that so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about both why might I collect a shoe versus why might I wear a shoe and what causes me to do that so right off the bat um, why might I wear a shoe well here's an example of a shoe that I love wearing and I wear quite a bit um, it's a shoe that came out I think late July early August um, this is the Nike ISPA overreact I cannot get enough of this shoe as far as comfort goes but it's not exactly a shoe that I love as far as fashion and style it's a shoe that I love to wear because it's comfortable and collectors type shoes for me I really don't wear them too much um, the reason why uh, I spend a lot of money on them in the first place so it, it hurts for me to want to get something that I'm putting so much money and so much effort into I don't want to get something like that dirty so here's an example of a collector's shoe I mean a collector's shoe can be really something that you like to collect you know this is a this is the Nike uh, Air Jordan 1 mid Edison Chins. Um, this is a shoe that if you were to cut away this fabric here um, you would be able to see well there's you know different types of fabric on the you know underneath here so they've got gold on the rear gold on the toe and if I were to take like an exacto blade to this you'd be able to tell the reason why I haven't done that is I'm interested in keeping this shoe dead stock um, I have an idea in the back of my mind that if I sit on this shoe for quite a long time or maybe a few years, this shoe will be worth far more than what it is now. Right now it's worth about 300, probably $375 to $425. I have an idea that in the future, this the value of this shoe will go up. I might actually never put this pair of shoes on, at least not until I can afford to. Right now this is something that I would consider one of my grails. Another thing about grails is my grails might not be the same as your grails. You might have a totally different shoe that you think is the best ever. You might think the Edison Chen's suck and that's totally 100% your opinion and you are entitled to it. So something that I like to, you know, to think about when putting on shoes is or when I'm getting ready to buy shoes, I should say, is why am I buying the shoe? Am I buying the shoe because I want to put it in a glass case or a plexiglass case like I have here? Or am I buying the shoe because I want to wear it every day? Um, and honestly, I have two different types of shoes for both things. I have, you know, there are shoes that I buy specifically just to wear them, just to try them out. And then there are shoes that I buy specifically just to put them on my, my shelf and enjoy. Um, this would be an example of something that I keep on my shelf to enjoy. This would be an example of something I wear almost every day just, uh, just for comfort and to make sure that my feet are healthy and that I'm going out and getting enough exercise. Two shoes, two very different reasons for um, wanting to own them at the end of the day. Um, both fit well into my hobby so if you're ever confused as to why collectors might collect different things this might be an answer for you um, so yeah check out my channel like subscribe comment follow me at Timmy's kicks on Instagram I also have my Instagram my other Instagram for gardening is called hype underscore gardener so check those out um, and yeah more to come peace